Uh, uh, Jeremiah, we're going to open up right here. Tim May with uh, Letterman Row. Hey, uh, Jeremiah, uh, Chris Carter tweeted, hey, I dropped my first pass too. <laughs> and then, you know, as an Ohio State Buckeye and then got on with it. Just what were your thought patterns there? And did this day go kind of like you maybe dreamed or thought it would? Uh, I mean, not really. I mean, I just went on with the week. Uh, I mean, my coaches prepared me great throughout the week and just scheming things up for me to get the ball. So I just can't say it was only on me. It was on my coaches as well. Your favorite catch? Favorite catch? Uh, had to be the deep ball, the one Will threw. Uh, yeah, so that got to be the best one right now. Over to the left, uh, Jeremiah, Joey Coffin, Columbus Dispatch. Jeremiah, on the on the drop, can you walk us through what happened to it and what was your reaction when you kind of came back to the sideline, just your mentality at that point? Uh, my reaction to dropping the ball was, I don't know, I can't really explain that one, but when I came to the sideline, I was just mad at myself. But, I mean, it's football. I mean, you play receiver, you go drop the ball, so but you can't drop it that much. So, I mean, I just moved on, just made a play the next drop, so that's all. Uh, over here to the right, uh, Jeremy Birmingham, the podcast. Hey, JJ, just this experience, all of the build up to today, yeah. what was it like for you running out the tunnel the first time with 100,000 people scoring that first touchdown? What, I mean, was it what you thought? Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, I've been, I'm a, I was a recruit, so I can't see it, been no visit, but actually being out here on the field and playing and getting the full experience of walking out that tunnel was something I would never forget. And I me mean, just scoring that first touchdown felt so great. And, I just can't thank myself. I just got to thank God and the man above, so that's all. Uh, over to the left, Andy Anders, 11 Warriors. You were just asked about the drop. You also had the penalty early on. What in your mentality allows you to bounce back from those mistakes and, and go make more big plays? Uh, just move on. I mean, it's football. You got more football to play. You got four quarters of football. So just move on. Just keep my head down. Just keep working. That's all. Uh, over here to the right, uh, Andy Backstrom, Letterman Row. Yeah, Jeremiah, it looked like you and Will were on the same page pretty much all day today. Just where is your chemistry at with Will right now, and what's it like catching passes from him? Uh, our chemistry is going very good right now. I mean, just something we built during practice, and we just go continue to build on that, and it's going to get even better for sure. Over here to the left, uh, Cameron Teague Robinson, The Athletic. Jeremiah, during camp, we asked you if you knew about the hype surrounding you. You said, you said yeah. yeah. This is like NFL receivers come in and out of this program so, so much. For you to do what you did today, your first college – debut mm -hmm. just what was that like and did was did you feel any extra pressure knowing kind of the outside hype around you um pressure no I don't really feel pressure um I mean I just want to go out there and play football and win and play play football and win games so I mean I know all the hype around me was crazy coming in and I just wanted to come in and be a guy just work and just not be about all hype so I mean just want to impress my coaches impress my peers around me and my teammates so that's all uh, over here to the right, uh, Brendan Gulick, uh, Buckeyes Now on Sports Illustrated. Jeremiah, two-part question. First of all, how do you try to slow yourself down when you know things are flying around you, the en you know, energy, the environment is crazy? Uh, and secondly, what are you working on in your game right now, actively trying to get better at? Uh, how I so slow myself down? Just you know, listen to my coaches. I mean, really, Coach Hartline. He told me to calm down. You know, the, the experience is very crazy for me. Got my freshman, so I mean, and what I'm working on right now, just you know. Um, just getting better each and every day, really. Um, just working on my footwork with Coach Hartline. I mean, just trying to find more things to get better at in my game. That's all. Over to the, the left, Rob Aller, Columbus Dispatch. No, you good? Oh, Jeff Gilbert, uh, Press Pros. Jeremiah, uh, back to the early mistakes. Would you stay in the game? Coaches trust you tonight. I'm not. We're not taking him out. We, we trust him. He's going to play through. What's it mean to you to? For the coaches at this stage of your career to have that trust that you're going back out there and they're not even yelling at you or anything. Yeah, uh, I mean, I just I just can't say. I just feel like it's. I mean, I think I built that during practice. I mean, I feel like they trust me a lot to you know knowing that I made a mistake that they know I'm gonna bounce back from it. So I mean, it's just a trust in them that they have in me to go out there and continue playing football and make plays. Couple more plays for Jeremiah Jake Trotter ESPN. Yeah, Jeremiah, you got to go back to 96, 1996, uh, the last time a freshman uh, here caught two touchdown passes in a debut. How can you build off this performance going forward? Uh, I could build on it by just, you know, I know, not dropping the ball. I mean, I feel like I had a better game. I just made mistakes and just continue to work and just get better each and every day. And final question, uh, front row here, Stephanie Ote, 97.1, the fan. So there's always lots of pressure when you're new to Ohio State. I think to Justin Fields when he went, I think it was till week eight where he had an interception. And he told me it was a relief that it finally came just to get it out of the way. Was getting that drop so early on almost a relief? Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, 
I would just worry about catching the ball and just getting up field. But I mean, I, I'm glad it happened, and you know, I just got that, you no, know, got that relief, and I'm like, I'm here, I'm here now, so I'm good. That's it. Responded to that, and then and coach, they just completely got faith in you and let it ride it out. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, they just told me just just calm down, you good, just going to move on to the next play. That's all. Great, Jeremiah. Thank you very much. Thank you guys.